done with the edit. I need to export for an entire hour. Now I just need to figure out internet. Hopefully I can go over to the bar area and get internet later. Yes. I need to make food and I forgot to get too much food, but I'll show you what I got. I got my office, my kitchen, bedroom. What do you need? It's a nice selection here. Pretty much the same meal I had last time. Jung herbs and mitts, more and lang corn and wild rice tomatoes and coconut oil. I've been just sitting and sweating and sweating and sweating for hours. Like a lot of sweat. It's so hot today, it was like 90 degrees. Do our tomato thing again. It's pretty tasty. Oh, I just feel sick from the heat. Sometimes I, I think it's really nice to be alone because when I'm so gross and dirty like this and just sweaty and tired, I don't have anyone to impress, you know? Oh yeah, luxury. in the video now the upload speeds aren't fast enough for me to actually be able to upload it so it's gonna be late but it's out of my control all right good night i'm gonna interrupt this video real fast to bring today's sponsor to you i hope that you guys will all know that any sponsorships that i take I actually use and I make sure to use them for a while before I'll even promote them. I've been using this app called Ara and I highly recommend it just personally because for me when I'm traveling obviously you don't see it all on camera but I'm stressed out a lot and being alone all the time your thoughts can really get to you and a lot of people ask me about like therapy or what I'm doing this and that but because I travel all the time my life is very inconsistent so I do try to create stability in certain areas as best I can but kind of like mobile stability so what this app does and I'll tell you what I use it for it's basically like an all-in-one app for mindfulness for sleep and for well-being I use it for remembering to breathe CB, the CBT audios and the different sounds that come on it as well, which you can use to fall asleep to, you can use to calm your mind down when you're stressed out. Like it has different um, frequency sounds, which I really like to use. There's hundreds of experts and coaches around the world on it. It's won Best of Apple Award and it's the world's largest mental well-being content um, library and community. I set it, you can make a setting and you can set it for however often you want it to remind you to breathe. So whenever I get the notification, then I stop and I breathe because we all need that reminder. But I, especially because I forget to breathe <laughs> sometimes every three hours, the app goes off and I remember to breathe. It also has a quote every single day, which is really good for me. And then at nighttime, obviously, if I'm feeling too stressed, I'll also use the uh, sounds, which you can time as well while you're sleeping. You can get a free trial and then 25% off if you use my link. Not everyone has access to you know, expensive therapy and wellness stuff. So, I mean, give it a try, see what you think. Anyways, so big thanks to Ara. Now let's get back into this video. Morgan, the only thing I have in here are chalk and flaming prunes. <laughs> That's literally all I have. There's nowhere around me because I'm kind of out in the middle of nowhere at this campsite. I'll do a what I eat in a day while well, living in a van. It'd <laughs> be very easy. Truck and flopping. That's not how you say it, but. <laughs> this isn't a vacation, it's a lifestyle.
absolutely starving. I need to see if they have any snacks for sale. No worries, we got some food. It was very, very expensive. But that's my fault because I didn't bring enough. I really do not like being around people. Like, I hate it. I didn't even cook this all the way because I just couldn't be bothered. I'm so hungry. Get in there. Both of these, this was like $7 and this was like $6. No, more than that, actually. It was like, oh, I'm so hungry. Mm. Oh. Basically, this morning I had a green drink. I had like eight prunes or more. And I'm having this, and then I'll have the soup. That's basically what I'm eating today. Up about an hour out of Berlin. I wanted to give you some more differences while I was driving. I was thinking of them. One of the differences is not really to do with van life, but I haven't seen any police cars at all. And that's because when it, well, they're speeding, things are automated. There's a, a system that they have set up where they just automatically ticket you. So I'm scared about that. There's no wild camping. I think we already talked about that. I couldn't really wild camp with this type of vehicle, anyways. Another thing is like their vans here or the vehicles are a bit a little bit different here but I couldn't offer up this so I couldn't really do wild camping anyways because you know the first divot and I'm done for. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen as many overlanding trails or overlanding vehicles uh, when I was traveling around a lot in the US there's tons of trucks there's tons of jeeps um, people are obsessed with that over there and maybe they are in different countries too but here in Germany I just haven't seen as much as that I'm sure there's a culture for it here uh, you have to pay for camping most places whether it's a jail flats or a camping spot or whatever you should have to pay you can find free parking spaces along the side of the road but because there's no wild camping, you can't really go off and have an actual campsite without having to pay for it. Also, the parking and camping spots are a lot smaller, as I keep saying. If you know any other differences and you've been to Germany as well, you can comment them below. I'll, I'll see if I can think of some more. One similarity is they have rest stops just like they have in the States. Pretty sure you can sleep overnight at them, and they're very similar. All right, we're here. Time to return Erwin for <laughs> It's been a journey, but hopefully everything is good we get our deposit back let's see okay so i'm in berlin now and i just made it to my hotel room and it's, it's really nice they give you a little macro i need the desk and then the bathroom I need to shower and get around. I'm so happy to be here. I'm gonna go meet up with my friend now and we're gonna do some like, um, we're gonna take some pictures maybe. I'm gonna stay here for the week and then I don't know what I'm gonna do afterwards, but let's go down into Berlin and see what we find. But first I need to get ready. To
University of Film, but I have been in Berlin for the past week now. It's time for me to go. I, I booked a flight to England because somehow I always end up back there. I'm going to go visit some friends and kind of wait for the next step, which I hope is van life in a different country, in Portugal or Sweden. It'd be really cool for Scotland, but that's a bit advanced for me. But this has been the Germany chapter. It's been lovely here. I do love Germany. All right, I don't think that I've done a closer for this video. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna do a closer right now. I'm in England now. That was my Germany trip. It was kind of like a little beginner into, you know, traveling abroad and stuff like that. And I'm planning another trip now that I'm going to this week. Now we get into the, the, the big boy van. And I guess I'll just reveal where I'm going next. We're going to Portugal. I didn't, I didn't know that this is going to be the plan, but I'm just flowing with it and I'm very excited. Um, put your bathing suits on, we're going swimming. <laughs> so let's go explore Portugal. Thank you so much for watching this video. Another big shout out to Ara. Again, you can get the link below for 25% off and you can get a free trial. I want the best for you guys and I am so grateful that you're here with me. I love our community. Stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you next time.